What is up guys, Dylan Ryan here, bringing you another episode of Dylan's Adventure Craft. Hope you guys are having a mind-tastic day today. I am having a great day myself. It is the morning again, so I might sound a little funky. <laughs> I've been doing some morning, morning videos uh, lately, so I've been trying to really get into that. But this is what we did in the last episode. We worked on the Arctic area up here. We've got in the igloos we got all of the snow in we got the trees in uh and then we also did stuff i need to change my elytra here fairly soon uh we also did some stuff in here where we put up the cave spider and the spider areas here and then we got our little area down here it looks like we got a bat you're in the wrong cage buddy <laughs> <laughs> you're in the wrong cage you're supposed to be in the the top cage there but yeah so we've got all of this done in the last episode that is awesome awesome but there is one thing that i forgot to do and i don't know how i forgot to do it guys i really don't i should have known this i knew it before i started this but for some reason i just did <laughs> i didn't do it i didn't do it so what we need to do is we need to take some snow layers and put them on top of the trees. Yeah. Um, this is something I feel like needs to be done. Because, I mean, if you go out to a snowy area in the Minecraft world, the trees are going to have snow layers on them. Even if you're not in a snowy biome and it's just at the top of a mountain or something where it's really cold up in the air. So, there's snow there also. So, what we need to do is just come through here. I'm not going to put it on those because I don't see a point in that. But we do need to come in here and place down snow layers on top of all of these leaves. So I'm about to figure out how to get to all of them. I'll probably have to change my elytra also. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put all of the snow layers up on top of these trees. I believe that we've gotten everything covered except for this tree here, I think. Um, from what I can see from flying up in the sky and stuff, that seems this seems to be the last tree. Now, we might miss a few leaves. If you guys see some, just let me know, and then I can grab those at another point. But it looks like we have pretty much gotten... Oh, pick that up. Looks like we have pretty much gotten all of the snow layers done to the trees, and this makes it look a whole lot better, I think. Um, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think, but I think it looks a lot better like this. Now we got the whole Arctic area all done. It looks like we've got some areas here. Now someone did tell me in the comments, if I put more than one snow layer there, that it should not melt. So that was a really good uh, comment. So thank you very much to whoever said that. That is awesome. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we've got all this done. Now there's one more thing that I want to do over here at Animal Paradise before we move on to something else. I want to come over here. And I saw this a while back and just kept on forgetting to do something about it. Um, but if you look, this area over here, there is no cow, but say there is a cow. How would it get to like over there and stuff, right? There's, there's no way for it to get over there. And even if I didn't care if it got over there, there's no way for it to get over here. So I would like to open up an area somehow to let these cows roam around more freely. And I think the best way to do that is to put something like a tunnel under this that's leading to that area there. So I think we're going to do that really fast. We do have a little tunnel thing there, but I think this thing's just going to be, what, three tall or so? Yeah, let's just dig out an area here. 
Um, okay, we will have to fix some of that stuff. That is fine. And I guess we can just make it too tall because I think that's just going to be the easiest. Um, we won't have to go down as low that way. All right, so let's go ahead and dig through here. And all right, so we've got our staircase up. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some of these blocks back in here. Now, like I said, we're not going to be able to use the gravel or anything so let's just grab a few more blocks that are solid so let's get back over here and let's fill this in we'll do something like that and we'll put another one there okay perfect and then we're gonna have to have something under that so i guess we might have to have it three deep right oh uh, no no we shouldn't we shouldn't we should just be able to do something like that and then do something like this there we go so now we've got the underneath area looking all good um let's go ahead and get rid of these few blocks and replace them with this and eventually that mycelium will change for us um let's make this just a little bit different to get out of here there we go let's put that back perfect and then we'll swap out these blocks here for just dirt that will be fine all right there we go so they should be able to get under the path now um that should work out i actually feel like this should be dirt but uh we'll leave it like that for now let's actually come out one more block and that way it'll make it look a little more stable i think so we'll do that let's grab this we'll do that and let's grab this and we'll do that okay awesome there we go. So that will make that look a little more stable. Now the cows can get from one side to the other. And I think that's going to be a lot better because we have not many cows over here. So if we do start breeding these guys, we need to get some more in the area and throughout the area, not just in one certain spot of their area, if that makes any sense. So, all right, let's go ahead and empty out our inventory here. We do have some other things that we need to do in this episode today. So I am going to go ahead and get some things together. We're going to move to a different spot. I think we're done with Animal Paradise for today. We will get back over here in a few episodes. But yeah, let me meet you guys somewhere else and we will continue on. All right, guys, we are over here at the sub room. And there's one thing that I'm wanting to add into this area. So we're going to break this block here. Let's put down a dispenser with a button on it, just like that. And then for now, we're just going to break back in here. Yeah, come this way. Let's break these blocks. And then we've got some hoppers. Let's take a hopper. We'll do like that. And then let's break some more blocks. All right, and we need a temporary block here with a hopper on it. There we go. That'll probably go into there. That is okay. And then we're going to take a chest. Let's fill in these blocks back here. All right, we're going to take a chest and put it there. And then we're going to have another chest that will go here. But there's some things that I want to put in there. So I want to make a randomizer here where we just throw in items. And this thing is going to pick an item for us whenever we press the button. And that way we will have an item to give to whoever is being put up on the board in here. So let's get that back. That's not supposed to be in there. All right, neither is the barrel. Um, let's throw those in there. We'll put that up at the top. All right, and let's grab some more. Yeah, we're just going to fill all of these in. You can kind of see the different ones that we could end up getting. Um, let's see, do that. And let's grab this. I mean, it's not a total randomizer, but this will at least give us some sort of randomization. Um, because we've selected these blocks randomized, we put these blocks in randomized, and then we press the button, we're going to get a random one out of nine or something like that, right? So, um, okay, let's go ahead and put another chest here. It looks like we're not going to need that chest, but that is okay. Let's put that back, put that back, and put that back, and then whenever we press this button, it's going to give us 
a item that we can use. So I guess we will use this one because we've got two people to put up on the board. So this first block here, we're going to put this one in. And this one, we are going to name. Actually, actually, you know what? Just because of this name, I've got to pick a certain block. Okay, we're back. We got a golden apple, and the reason is, is the person's name is Crab Apple. <laughs> so, up, oh, and I did not spell that right. That is not a B. There we go, Crab Apple. Awesome. Um, yes. Yeah, so we need to we need to use an apple for that. I think I think that would make the most sense. Let's go ahead and pop both of those on there, and we will put that up there. And not eat it. There we go. And then we have one other person that wanted a lime dice. So we are going to do that. And this person is Diet Soda. There we go. All right. Awesome. So we'll pop that one up there as well. There we go. We got two more people up on the board in here. We've got a total of two, four, six, eight people. Eight people. So if you have not commented, um, haven't subscribed or anything like that, make sure you do that. Let me know down in the comments so that I can get you up in the subscriber room. Yes. All right. So that is it for over here. There's uh, one more thing that we need to do. So I am going to go ahead and get some more things together and we are going to start working on that. So guys, I wanted to do something in this episode that I don't think I've ever done. I wanted to try to breed up some horses and try to get like a really good horse. The only problem, I don't have any saddles. And that just doesn't seem right to me. I feel like I should have some saddles, but I have no saddles. So I guess we're going to have to go try to find some dungeons and nether fortress, stuff like that. And try to find a few saddles. I mean, I at least want like six saddles or so. I mean, I can't believe that I don't even have one. But yeah, let's, let's try to go into these fortresses, I guess, and try to find some chests. And try to find ourselves some saddles so that we can uh, start breeding up some horses and doing some things that we need with the saddles. Ah, one saddle. There we go. There's a bunch of horse armor down here. We've got horse armor. We just don't have the saddles. So that's, that's one saddle down. Five more to go. Saddle number two. Saddle number three. Saddle number four. Oh, yeah. Who's going to win? Get him. I'm betting. Yeah, I was about to say I'm betting on that, dude. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. Saddle. Yes. Saddle number five. And I'm going to take all this iron also. There we go. One more saddle to go, guys. One more saddle to go. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. What is going on here? Hello? <laughs> to find a little gravity there, I see. Um, all right, we still got to find one more chest, and I'm kind of having a difficult time here. I've had to go to a different fortress. Still cannot find the chest that we need. Um, there's got to be one around here somewhere, right? Ah, there we go. Saddle number six. And let's just check this one. Oh, we got a diamond. I'll take it. All right, cool. So we can head back to the house now. I think we got everything we need. We just need to find an area to actually breed up some horses and see what we can get. This is probably a project that is going to take a few few different episodes, you know, that we'll probably do over the span of a bunch of episodes. Um, we need to stop and grab some more rockets really fast. But yeah, so um, this isn't something that'll be done today. This, this just is something that I'm wanting to start to do and see if we can not add a horse to our uh, collection of all of our friends here in Minecraft. I think that would be awesome. Maybe we can even keep it stored over at Animal Paradise. Why not? But yes, yeah, so let me get back here. And I am going to find an area that we can uh, find some horses and start breeding and, uh, yeah, get, get some good stuff done here. Ah, there we go. We got some horses. Awesome, awesome. Let's actually try to make a bed really fast here, and that way we can sleep. Um, come here, sheepy. Thank you very much. And let's grab two pieces of wood here. I think we're just going to do it right over here where we have our creeper farm i think that would be the best spot for it 
Um, there is some horses over here, so that should help us out some. All right, let's place this down, and let's make a bed. Here we go, before something spawns on us. There we go. And I will fix that tree there so that it doesn't, you know, isn't just missing a log. Um, all right, so we are over here in this area. I think what we need to do is to make some fences. And I think I have a good bit of wood in my ender chest here. Let's see. Yes, we do have some jungle wood. Let's take this stuff. There we go. And let's move down here in this area. Um, we might not need any fences if they can't get over this. But I don't know if they can jump really high when they want to. Or if that's only something that you can make the horse do. I'm really not quite sure. But I think... What we will do is make this where it's too high everywhere. We won't have a problem and they won't be getting out. Hopefully. We will see. But yeah. Let's try to make this to where it is all one one high, I guess. So I'm going to have to dig some of this out here. I think I'm going to dig out all of the stone. And uh, make sure that we've got a good area here for the horses. Alright, so I've got a few things here. Um, I did clean all of this out, and everything is at least too tall, so nothing should be able to get out of here. We've got our saddles, we've got some name tags, we've got some signs, snow blocks, snow layers, and we've also got some more wood. Um, let's try, let's see, let's grab some saddles here, and we've got some golden carrots. Let's grab a few more golden carrots. Uh, let's see, food, yeah, there we go, we got plenty of those. Alright, let's go over here, I think there was horses, yeah, there we go. We got some horses over here. Um, I don't think... I can't remember exactly how this works. Okay, yeah, so we can't do that. All right. Um, we can get on it and wait for him to be okay with us. Um, hopefully, he will. Let's see. Are you good with me? Are you good with me? No? No? Nope. Still not good with me. Okay. All right. Give him a few more seconds here. We'll keep trying. And once he gets those love hearts, we should be able to um, tame him. Can I give him this? No, I can't. Can't give you that. Can I give you that? Oh, you will eat that. But you won't let me get on you and be a friend. <laughs> I just gave you food. Dude, I just gave you, f I just gave you food. food. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, all right. So let's uh, shift right click on this. We'll do that. My dog is barking. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, okay, yeah, this guy's really slow. Um, doesn't have much jump height. Okay, um, let's bring him down here, and let's put a name tag on him really quick. So let's see. Let's grab some name tags, and we will pop a name tag on you. There we go. And let's go over here. Let's try to grab some more. Um, I'm probably going to try to grab these three guys here, and then if there's any more, I'll probably try to grab those also. Horse number six on the way back now. So I'm glad we got six saddles because there is six horses over here. They've all got saddles. They've all got name tags. So now what we need to do is probably let's try and let's grab some. Actually, I don't need that. I need this. All right. And let's try to make some fences here. All right. We got some fences. I kind of just want to do this so that we can put these guys in fences. Um, three. There, we'll leave two spots. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five spots there. Um, let's do one, two. We'll do that. And then let's just take this down here. Perfect. And then we left two spots, I believe. Yep. All right, we'll do the same thing. We'll leave two spots. Come on, dude, move out of my way, please. Thank you. There we go. We'll do something like that. And then we should be able to put our horses in here. We already got one in there. He just decided to go in there. All right, let's do that. Can I not fit through here? I guess not. We'll just jump over it then. That works. <laughs> that works. I'm fine with that, I guess. Um, I guess what we probably should do is make some more of the fence gates. Um, that would probably just be best. 
Let's do that and let's make some more of those. We got two, we need four more. Need just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so yeah, let's swap those out for fence gates. I think it'll be easier to get these guys in and out if we do that. So let's take this down, take that down, take that down, take that down. We'll place that not like that. We'll place it like this. Break this one, break this one. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to get these guys in and out a lot easier and won't have to like worry about jumping and stuff. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's see. This guy seems really fast. I'm kind of liking him. Um, all right. Let's grab another horse here. I just kind of want to get them in here. And then we're going to check out their jumps. We're going to check out their speed. And we're also going to check out their hearts. Um, I think that is all the things that we need to know to uh, pick out the best horse here. So let's get this guy in here. Perfect, and we got one more guy, and then we will check them out. Um, now, breeding the best ones together, I'm assuming, would make a better one. Um, I'm not sure if that's how that works or still works or what, but I guess we'll find out. All right, first horse, we've got this guy. He's only got two, four, six, eight, nine hearts and can jump, uh, can jump a pretty decent speed. Uh, or pretty high, pretty decent height. The speed is not the greatest on this guy, so let's check this next one. This one has, it looks like, 10 hearts, and maybe is a little bit faster, but cannot jump as high, I don't think. Um, all right, let's go ahead and go back into here. Let's actually go sleep really fast, because we don't have anything lit up out here, and I don't want anything spawning. All right, which one was we on? Was we on the third or the fourth? I think we was on the fourth, right? All right, let's check this guy out. Um, speed, not that great. Heart's about the same. The jump's about the same. I think this guy and the one right here is pretty much the same. Um, all right, let's check out this guy. He got one extra heart, so 11 hearts. Is a little bit faster and can actually jump a decent height. Okay, so number five seems to be the best horse so far. Um, let's check out number six. This one also looks like it has nine hearts. Speed is actually fairly decent and the jump is fairly decent okay so now what we want to do we've picked out i guess two of the best ones i think it's these two in ones here what we want to do is come over here and grab some of this stuff i think we're going to need to make some more signs so let's make some more signs as well there we go all right and let's make an area here just to see how high these guys can jump so i know all of them can jump at least one block so let's do one block and then we'll do a snow layer and i think we can let's actually actually yeah let's not do this let's do it the opposite direction yeah because this thing's going to get pretty big i think all right so there's that and then we need one two three four five six seven eight and then we can take snow layers so one two three four five Oops, and six, and this is going to be seven, and then I think if we put one more here, it'd be eight. Okay, so you can kind of see how that steps up there. So that is what we're kind of going for. So I'm going to lay this out pretty high and probably label it, and then we'll come back and we'll check out the horses, see how they can jump and stuff like that. All right, we got a thing going on here. This is for our height test, so we're going all the way from one block to five blocks, and each snow layer is eight. So you can stack up. Um, you probably already know this, but I'm going to show you anyway. If you do eight snow layers, it will make a single block. So I'll just show you. There we go. So we had to break these down into eights. So we got one, 1.125, 1 1.25, 1 1.375, 1 1.625, 1 1.75, 1.875, 1 eight seven five then two and that goes all the way down to five so that is the way to do that um it's not intense so don't mess up like i did and start doing 4.1 4.2 4.3 and then getting all the way down there and it not being right so all right now we picked these last two guys here to be the best ones but i think we're going to start with this first one i just kind of want to see how high it'll jump now we've just got to get this about 
as perfect as we can. Okay, so let's let's move on down. Let's move down to two and see. Okay, we can definitely get on two. What about three? Can we get on three? We can get on three. Okay. What about three and a half? Can we get on three and a half? We can get on three and a half. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> He's a little bit better than I thought he was. All right, let's try four. Um, If I can get it perfect. Yeah, okay. So he can't do four. What about 3.875? Can we do that? If I can jump and get it right. Okay, maybe not. All right, so we'll try the next one down. Okay, so he can get that one. All right, so I'm wondering if it can get this one here, and I just haven't gotten it perfect. Okay, yes, yes. Now, which one was that? <laughs> that one was the four... Wait, no, this it was the 3875, correct? I think. No? I thought he could get the 3875. Is that not the one that we just tried? Maybe it is. Maybe I accidentally went on to this next one. Okay, so let's try this. Yeah, okay. So he can't make that one, I don't think. I think he just happened to step onto the next block over, and that's what caused it to look like that we didn't make that. Um, I am going to sit here and try. Well, okay. No, we got it. All right. So 3.75 is this guy. So let's remember that. And then we can write that down. So let's bring him over here. He is not fast whatsoever. That is for sure. So 3.75. So let's grab a sign really quick. Right. So this guy can jump 3.75 blocks. Okay, so I'm going to sleep and I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of these five horses and see which one is the best or who is the best too because we need to breathe them together, right? All right, guys, so I have went through and tested all of their jumping abilities and also looked at their hearts. So the first guy, we got 3.75 jump blocks and nine hearts. Second guy, we've got 2.75 jump height and 10 hearts. Next is also the same thing, 2.75 and 10. The fourth guy is 3.375 and 10. The fifth guy is 3.5 and 11. And then the fifth guy is 3.875 and 9. So I'm thinking the best jump here is going to be this guy right down here. Yeah, he's going to be the best jump. After that, who is the best on jumps? This guy. So those two guys are the best on jumps. I think we should breed them two together. Guy number one, you're going to come over here and you are going to stay right there. All right, you stay right there. We're going to go get guy number five and or girl, guy, girl, whatever. Um, all right, there we go. So we got both of them in there. Let's make sure that we know which one is which. I probably should have name tagged them a little bit differently, but that is okay. So let's do that. And they've got a baby. All right, perfect. So let's grab this guy. Let's jump up out of here and let's go put him back before we get them confused. Let's let this guy grow up. When that guy grows up, I think we will breed him with this guy here. And see if we can get the height, the uh, health a little bit higher. But I'm hoping that this guy can do some good jump. So 3.75 and 3.875. So whatever is in between that is what this guy should be able to jump. I'm going to sit here and kind of feed him just a little bit. Because we've got tons of food and it's not that big of a deal. There we go. That actually was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. But the main problem that we're going to have now is we do not have enough saddles. So can we come over here and take saddles off? Yes. So let's take off a few saddles here. We're also going to go sleep really fast just so we can uh, keep mobs from spawning here. All right. And let's try to tame this guy. Um, we're going to have to keep getting on and off. Oh, that was actually fairly fast. So let's uh, put that on. How many hearts do you have? You have 10 hearts. Okay. So we had nine. Um, wait. Yeah, we had nine and nine. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So it actually went up. The height of the jump, I'm hoping, is at least 3.875. So let's try that. 
This one right here is 3.875. Let's try to get centered with that. And let's do our jump here. Okay, he cannot go that high. So what was this other guy? This other guy was 3.75. So can this horse jump 3.75? If it can't, then we do not need this horse. Um, and I don't think it's going to. So that was, that was a failed experiment there. So what we need to do is breed those guys again and see if we can get a better horse than this one. All right, so I bred up those two horses again, and we got this guy right here. And he is just as good on the height jumping as this one. Not quite as good as this one, but he has more hearts than this one. So I got rid of that one, and we're going to replace it with this guy. So 3.75, and I think he had 10 hearts, which he does. Okay, so we'll change this 3.75 and 10. There we go. Okay, so now we got that guy in there. Um, so we'll give these guys just a little bit of time. Um, I don't think this one's ready. No, I can't can't breed him up just yet. We could try breeding some of these guys and see um, if they would give anything better. I don't know. Like this guy right here has got 11 hearts. That might help out. But I think we'll just give it a little bit of time. Well, guys, I have been working with this for quite a while now. Um, we have changed out a few of the horses, so we've got one that's a 3.75 with 10 hearts, 3.5 with 11, 3.625 with 11, which is one of these guys, whichever one has 11 hearts, so it would be this guy here. So we got that guy, and then we've got this guy here, 3.625 and 9. 3, 5, and 11, 3, 8, 7, 5, and 9, which was the other guy over there. And then we got a 3, 2, 5, and a 12 heart. So we did get a 12 heart. I wanted to try to get a 4 on the jumping. Um, 3.875 is the closest we got. I don't know if, say, you breed a 3.875 with a... 3.625 if that can go to a 4 or if it just has a chance of being a 3.625 or in between a 3.875 or a 3.875 so I don't know if you can go above a 4 if the highest horse that is breeding is less than the 4 I'm not quite sure um, however the 12 hearts one we did get from like a 10 and 11 I think so that's what's making me think that we can do that um, I'm going to try to do one more breed with these guys right here because they're the best ones we've got. The 3, 8, 7, 5, and 9, and 3, 6, 2, 5, and 11. Um, well, I guess we got this 3.75 and a 10, but the hearts on this one's a little bit higher, and it's faster than that guy over there. So that is why I'm using these two. So I'm going to try to breed these guys one more time. And uh, if it doesn't give what we need, then we'll probably just wrap it up from there. So give me a few more moments. Um, I'm going to let these guys get to where they can breed. I just bred them so it didn't. It, it's going to be a few minutes. But once that gets done, we'll come right back. All right. So last breed with these guys here. So we got them bred up. Let's get over here to this horse and let's give it some of the golden carrots here. You can use golden carrots or golden apples, I believe. All right, there we go. We'll get on. Wait for the hearts. Uh, there they are. We'll throw the saddle on and let's just hop over that really quick. I don't think this guy's going to be good. We'll start with a 3.5 and see. Okay, he did make the 3.5, but I think he barely got that. So let's do a 3.625. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to get up on this one. We'll see if we can get a full bar. Yeah, no. So 3.5 was the highest we got out of the 3.875 and the 3.625. So, yeah, he's he's no good. He's no good. We'll let him go. But, guys, I think that's all the time I'm going to have for today. We did get a good bit done, actually, working over at Animal Paradise and um, doing the horses here and also putting up some more subscribers. Uh, if you are a subscriber and you do not have your name just yet in the subscriber room, please down below in the comments section, put your name when you subscribed. And if you want a block 
of your choice on the wall. If not, we'll do a randomization of it. But yeah, do not forget to do that if you are subscribed. Yeah, so that, that is a way for me to give back to you guys and you to get put in the world uh, and be with us. So uh, you guys just keep on hitting that that's like button and the subscribe button. I think we're at like 150 subscribers. If we hit 200 subscribers before... The hundredth episode, I will strongly think about putting out a world download sooner, maybe episode 75 or something like that. So you guys just keep hitting that subscribe button and the like button, and uh, we'll just keep on doing our thing here. But guys, that's pretty much all the time I have for today. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I put out another video. That's going to do it, and I will see you in the next episode. This has been Dylan Ryan, and I am...